Steve Reich has won the BBVA Foundation Frontiers of Knowledge Award in Contemporary Music. The piano was his first musical instrument, together with his love for percussion. I was a drummer when I was 14 years old, and after I got through with my music studies in 1963, I said, where is percussion, the dominant voice in the orchestra? In our orchestra, it's the strings. Well, the answer to that is in West Africa and in Indonesia. So I studied uh, drumming in Ghana, and then later with Balinese musicians in California. The importance of repetition and rhythm have been two constants in his music. Drumming, composed in 1971, is exemplified to perfection, and it's also a clear example of the importance of his passage through Africa. You can certainly consider music a universal language. It always has been a universal language, it is now a universal language, and it always will be a universal language. Over time, his style integrated what was learnt in the classroom with other influences such as jazz, which he played with artists like John Coltrane or Miles Davis. Music for 18 musicians was one of the highlights of his minimalist stage. And in the 90s, works like City Life already suggested a new evolution where the use of new technology stood out. With the advent of computers, Reich could, for example, integrate sounds of the city into his compositions. Since then, this New Yorker has become a benchmark far beyond contemporary classical music. His influence today stretches from opera to the most cutting-edge electronic music festivals. Reich today is respected by a wide range of audiences and is considered by many as the most influential living composer in the world.